K-I-L-R Killer Games Hello, hello! It's Ooh. yours truly, Nerd Gamer 2K, which is not me. It is me. Ah, and I am the Nobody. K I, I'm nobody, exactly. Uh, or you can call me K I L R, Killer Gamer. And together we are Killer Nerd Gamers. And we're going to be playing this really interesting and very cool adventure game called Escalon Book One. No, we're not reading a book, we're actually playing. Nah. Sort of, maybe. And yes, we could most likely get owned, but thankfully there is a save feature, so you can always go back and uh, pick up before you died. So this is an old school role-playing game or RPG adventure uh, without it being an actually an old game. So this is a isometric turn-based role-playing video game, which is by Basilisk Games, and it was released for the PC in 2007. Uh, the Mac and Linux operating systems also got a release. This is a first part of a trilogy. So, <laughs> what will the other two books or two parts be? You have book two and book three. Yeah. So this game it features a large and openly explorable world, just like the old school RPG games. As a matter of fact, it has a main storyline that you can follow, and then there's other types of uh, things you can do. You know, much much like. Uh, you know, Elder Scrolls, for example. And uh, as I was mentioning, this game is styled after the old school RPGs. But this has a modern uh, scored music uh, soundtrack, I guess you could say. And the graphical effects are more updated. No, it's not 3D or anything like that. But if they were to make a two-dimensional uh isometric type of game like they did then with the technology of now this is kinda like what the game would look like so very very cool and we're gonna get to that right now um, oh by the way this is going to be a two play or a twofer where nerd gamer 2k will play her character and adventure around and then I'll play my character and adventure around so you'll get the pleasure of seeing two different stories develop yep Ooh. a shiny star it's orange looks almost like the sun it's a lizard it's a lizard it's actually a basilisk uh. It's a type of lizard. Basilisk Games presents. Ba -ba. That's a pretty uh, cloud color there. I. Aww. Escalon. Book one. Book one. Whoop. I like the K. That is cool. Fancy. All Whoa. right. So this is Escalon Book 1, and this is a twofer, two-play, where NerdGamer 2K yeah, yeah. is going to do her adventure first, and then I will do my adventure. And we will see where we go. That looks like the Forbidden Forest. Kind of does look like the Forbidden Forest. Maybe it is forbidden. I love that theme song, too. Just Pretty. So epic and awesome. I mean, you hear something like that, you're like, oh man, this, this game's gonna be freaking cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fairy! Ooh, fairy. Maybe. Or just a glowing thing. And I love, uh, look how these glow. It's just so cool. Yeah. They put a lot of work into that. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin a new adventure. Sparkle. Alright. So... I'll be your, uh, I'll move you around, because uh, it's all uh, turn-based, so you don't have to worry about um, something what? happening without you knowing it. Okay, so what's your name going to be? <laughs> uh, Nerd Gamer? 2K. Ooh. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, sounds like you're writing. I know. <laughs> I like that. 
Okay, so let's see. Um, <laughs> Question mark. Do we hit? Guess we're not. Hit title. I think I have to hit enter first. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, I guess we're not at this point yet. Ah. Oh, All right, yeah. so With your origin. Order. This is where are you from? So your character's origin grants him certain attribute bonuses based on which region he hails from or she. Yay. So, Norlander, you are from the Northland Expanse, an Arctic area of permafrost and glaciers. Norlanders are of hardy build and are infamous for their ability to survive in conditions. Um, so you get plus two endurance and plus one concentration. Yeah. So think um, ice. Yeah, Smart people. Like uh, how the in uh, EverQuest, you know the um, I forgot what they're called now, but they were up north. Like the hobbits or something. Not the hobbits. You, not the halflings. They were the um, the big guys that wore the kilts. Oh, those people. Yeah. Or th I can't, can't seem to remember what they were called. All right, uh, Barians. They hail from the vast desolation of Baria. Think Baron. Uh, far to the west, it is a region of desert and scrubland, where even a simple living requires a great deal of work. Yeah. Barians tend to be lean and swift and can travel immense distances in a short amount of time. So they get plus two speed and plus one strength. I don't like that one. Rifter. Rifters hail from the great rift zone of the under south. A ge geological active area that has been torn into deep valleys and soaring cliffs covered in a thick forest. Uh, so rifters are of slight build and are seldom seen outside the protection of their protection of their woods. They are known to be very magically inclined, like how it's spelled there, <laughs> with a um, K, and claim to have a spiritual connection with the land. So I guess kind of like elves in a way. So they get. Uh, plus two perception and plus one wisdom. Is perception like seeing? Perception is more like being aware of things around you and how you. Oh, that's probably a good thing. World. Yeah, that's probably good. The Therish Hall from Ooh Woodlands. Hail they fr from the rolling rootlet woodlands and plains of Theomore. They are artistic and resourceful people, mm. being expert craftsmen and merchants. The Therish are also well known for their skillful cavalry. What's the Oh, is that a horse? Horse, right. Yay. Therish gain plus two concentration and plus one dexterity. What's a dexterity? Uh, so let's say you're fumbling thing in your hands uh, or juggling. You don't drop it. Right, exactly. Sweet. Lastly, the Kessians, they hail from the coastal region of the northeast. From mist fell south along the Sesani Ocean. They are highly regarded as sailors and navigators and known to be expert tacticians in battle. So they get plus two wisdom and plus one intelligence. Alright, so you got your people of the north, the people from the barren lands, uh, the rifters uh, from, I think, uh, like cliff areas and stuff. They're um, magically inclined. The Therish are the artistic ones, and the Kessians are the sailors. So that kind of puts it simple. So what 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 do you want to go with? Well, there's two that I'm having a hard time choosing from. Norlander and Therish. I want to live from the winter, but I'm a very creative person. Ah. So I think I might be Therish. Okay. And I like the woods. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We'll do that one. All right, Axiom. This is your, um, kind of like your religious belief in a way. Hmm. So, atheist, their mind is grounded in observable truths. They simply do not believe in any higher spiritual power or superstitions. Because of this, they are immune to the effects of curses. However, this also makes them immune to the effects of blessings. Aww. So, or uh, healing from a cleric. Definitely not choosing that one. So like in some ways be, it can be good, and some and ways not. And then bad. Uh, Druid. Druidic. Uh, th this faith believes in the divinity of the living world itself. Plants and animals, sun and rain, day and night. That's a typical Druid. Um, spe I, you know, makes me think of EverQuest because I always played a Druid, <laughs> or I like to anyway. Yeah. Um, while outdoors, followers of the Druidic faith 
regenerate lost hit points and mana points. That's kind of cool. Much faster than normally possible. However, while in dungeons or underground, they regenerate these points much more slowly. Dungeons? Yeah. I want to go in a dungeon. I'm sure we're going to have plenty of those in this game. <laughs> Alright, Virtuous. A person of virtuous faith lives a life of altruism and strives to promote goodwill with others. Their faith often revolves around the worship of one or more deities whom they believe hold dominion over all living things. Virtuous persons automatically receive the spell Bless and can cast it at level 1 without the need for the divination skill. However, virtuous persons are much more susceptible to being cursed when in the presence of what they perceive as great uh, evil. So very religious are the virtuous people. Nefarious these people live a life of self-indulgence self and corruption. Oh, they man. promote wickedness in this life. They are insured, continued debauchery in the afterlife. Nefarious people have a 5% chance on any attack to deliver malice damage. An increase in damage gained by the use of savage and cruel combat techniques. However, they are immune to the effects of healing from an altruist cleric or priest. So then what does that one really do? Because I don't really understand. Uh, just think bad people. So they're evil. Kind of. <laughs> um, agnostic, pretty much they don't care either way. Um, so agnostic person generally believes in, they believe something's out there, some sort of higher power on a personal level, but they balance this belief with observable truths and grounded ideals. Being generally balanced, they neither receive bonuses nor penalties. So they're kind of like, yeah, yeah, there might be something, but, you know, I'm kind of more down to earth, too. Um, can you scroll over Virtuous again? So that's the highly religious. So they, they want to uh, promote goodwill to others. So they're, they're, they believe in, in helping a lot of people. I don't really know which one to choose for those, because they have, like, good ones and then they have bad ones. Well, it just depends what, what care. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, something that matches you. No, I'm just saying, like, I don't want to have to, like, for this one where you can heal, but then you're, like, you'll get hit by curses a lot. Everything's going to have its good and bad, bad points. So I think what goes well with artists, you know, uh, Druid, I think, goes well because you That's know, what you're I was part, thinking. Of the, part of the world, plants, animals, so. I think I might do that one. Um, I think also those that like to promote their wor wor uh, their art wants to promote goodwill so I think that goes well with it um really I think these two go good with it I'll be the Drew Druidic yeah <laughs> all right now we got class Ooh, what if I'm a Matt why do they use a K that's just how it's spelled in this world it's so weird I think it's cool I think it, it gives it a whole different thing all right well fighter you know they're hand-to-hand -hand combat combat preferring the feel of a solid weapon in their hand over anything else hmm. fighters may have uh, may adventure for the simple thrill of battle or to sell their services as a mercenary they have a sword skill so rogue rogue are loners who prefer the draw as little attention to themselves as possible hmm. rogues often develop skills in lock picking and trap disarming so it's your typical rogue and they may dabble in unscrupulous activities like um thievery all the way up to assassinations again like a rogue Certainly not all rogues are criminals, and some have even become folk heroes while using their skills to help others. They start off with the picklock skill. Magic user, as you would imagine. Um, they are proficient in the magical arts, either as a hobby or a profession. Many people claim to possess some kind of magic talent, but true magic users choose to make it part of their everyday life, practicing their art every chance they get. The adept magic user is both feared and respected by even the mightiest warrior. The magic user starts with the elemental skill. The healer, as you would imagine, they promote the restoration of life. This doesn't imply that a healer is opposed to taking life when necessary. Sometimes a few must die to save the lives of many. Some healers work through the use of divination and spiritual faith, while others live by the sword. Um, oops. Uh, You're on magic. Oops. <laughs> I was more like, where did I leave off? Insisting that healing cannot begin until the decay has first been cut out. So, so healers start with divination. 
or think of it as magic skill. Yeah. Lastly, ranger. Rangers are scouts and protectors of their homeland. They are unequaled hunters and survivalists. They fight hand to hand and combat only when needed, preferring guerrilla tactics and ranged weapons to win battles. The ranger starts with the bow skill. Think, um, think of that uh, elf with mm. the blonde hair in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I can't think of his name. Um, I'm going to be a rogue. You're going to be a rogue? Yeah. Okay. I'm a nice evil person. We, rogues aren't necessarily evil. Sometimes they use their... Uh, yeah, but it goes up to assassinations. Well, and thieve. It, it's just... It's talking about the uh, the bad things that they do. It can just be petty thievery up to assassinations. It doesn't ah. mean that you have to do that. Because it says not That's all true. rogues are criminals. Some are folk heroes. That yeah. use their skills to help others. So I'm probably going to use the pick lock skill a lot. Oh, okay. Boom! There we go. So your title is a Shadow Lark. Can we choose the... There's a next button. See, under the face? No. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I think I'm male only. I think so. Wait, it says revolves around a male main character. Ah, uh, okay. You cannot change this character. Alright, so you have to go with a the male then. No. Alright, so... No. <laughs> no. No. Ugh. No. No. I think we cycled around. What the? I don't like any of them. I guess I'll go with that guy. Okay. So here are the skills. Um, Wait, there's more. There's a down button. Oh yeah, I know. So you have 20 skill points. So you can put those skills here. Um, plus you can upgrade them. So this is skill level 1. Okay, so you get pick locks. So alchemy is making potions, potions. and elixirs. Um, you got arcane divination, which is magic, magic, um, spiritual, organic. So that's kind of like uh, I don't know, elemental arcane. That's fire, magic. Earth, air, water, light armor, heavy armor, shield, cartography, making maps, um, dodging allows you to dodge, hide in shadows. Ooh, hide in shadows. Because what if I need to steal something? Okay. <laughs> Lore is the ability to identify strange items you discover in your journeys. Hmm, I uh, might need that. So, like storytelling and stuff. Alright. Meditation allows you to focus your mind, helps you restore your mana points. Uh, think uh, EverQuest. Yeah. Uh, mercantile, this allows you to negotiate better prices when buying and selling from merchants. Move silently. That's a stealth skill. Yeah, I need that. Uh, pick locks. You've got skill duggery. Uh, is the mechanical understanding of traps and trickery. And the ability to, to effectively disarm them. I'm going to need that one. Alright. So we're running out of skill points here. we got eight. Um, spot hidden. It's a skill. Allows you to oh! spot hidden items, doors, traps, and ab abnormalities. I think I might need that one too. Right. Our... Is that kind of cheating? No, not at all. No. Oh. Survival. This allows you to dress wounds and use herbs for faster recovery. Nah. Unarmed combat, as you would think, uh, hand to hand. Then you've got weapons, uh, bludgeoning, staves, maces, hammers, clubs, the bow, uh, cleaving, axes, machetes. <laughs> Machete. Ha -ha. Uh, or okay, we're all the way down to the bottom. Short blades, uh, daggers, knives. Stabbing, cutting devices, swords, as you would imagine, and throwing stuff. Oh, yeah, like throwing knives. So you can have more than one type of weapon? Yeah, you could be uh, multi-skilled. I think I'm going to have a bow, because bows are cool, and then... Whoa! That took a lot. And then a sword. May not be enough room. Yep, you don't have enough. <laughs> Maybe you can add it later, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, then get rid of a bow, because I don't want to just have a bow. Whoa. Whoops. Um, how, do we, how do we... Oh, there we go. Just right click. Okay, so then I think I might have a sword. Okay. I thought druids go well with bows. Oh, okay. No, that's the other thingy. Alright, so sword. You got. 
too, no. so let's see. So you can upgrade any of these for one point, or you can start upgrading... Oh, I'm sorry. The, the 15 points here are for these. So you can upgrade anything. Um, and if you decide you don't want something here, we can send it back, and that'll give you some more points that you can upgrade stuff. Okay, so hide in sh shadows, definitely. What's lore again? That's the storytelling. You can identify strange items that you discover. Get rid of that one. All right. Gives you five points now. Move silently, pick locks. Gold agree again. Um, oh, yeah. traps and trickery. Hmm. Disarming traps would be very helpful. I think I'll keep that. Okay, that's spotting hidden items, doors, traps. That's pretty good. I'll keep that. And then weapon sword. Those are all really good. Yeah, so then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, so... Although, if you're a rogue, you really don't want a sword. What you want is this, a knife or a dagger. Ooh, so yeah! That, yeah, you want something small. Okay. Alright, let's get that back. Alright, so then, let's see. Hide in shadows or move silently. Which one should I upgrade? Maybe pick locks. Well, I was gonna... Move silently is good. That might help you get past like bad people? guys. Okay, so and then... hide in shadows, possibly. It just depends upon if you are looking to sneak up on someone. But then or that'd be move silently. Movement. To what? Well, see, this also allows you to cover your movement. So if you hide in the shadows, something may not find you. So mm. Also, you may want to think about upgrading your weapon skill. So then let's see, one, two, okay, upgrade all of them except for spot hidden. Okay. Because like the spot hidden is is nice, but it I don't need it upgraded. Alright, so there you go. You got that. You happy with that? Yeah, yeah. Alright, now let's look at your attribute points. You got strength, that's your physical power, uh, how about carry weight. We need to upgrade the stuff that's most importantly to my skills. Okay. Um, also, for toxin... Dexterity, uh, that's your accuracy, hand-eye coordination, balance, grace, physical acti activity. This is, well, Ooh, you can picking see. Picking locks. Picking locks. Um, endurance, that's how well you can... Endure uh, hits and endure stuff. Endure hits and stuff. So this... Uh, this Make that to a 10. All right, let's put that up to 10. All right. Speed, how quickly your character is able to perform actions. Um... Intelligence um, work this is really important for magic users. Nah, <laughs> I'll be a um, dumb person. Wisdom, that's your insight, common sense, and quality of judgment, as well as cognitive abilities. Wisdom augments the magic skill of divination, as well as disease resistance. Uh, wisdom is the only attribute that can protect you from cursings. Uh, let's see, perception. The ability to sense, channel, and utilize the arcane energies that exist below the surface of a observable reality. Ah, uh, and then concentration. Concentration. That affects your ability to maintain attention and mental focus, especially while distressed. That might be important for um, a rogue, is to stay concentrated on what you're doing. But there you go. That's what you got. And then this is a random thing. Yeah, this can be random. So, make speed to 14, I mean 10. Speed, okay. Oh, take it down to 10? Yeah. Can't. What the heck? Probably one speed, so that way you can do this stuff. True. Let's see, can you bring strength down to 10? Nope. So you can only make them upwards? Yeah. That's. But you made dexterity, or you made one of those to 10. Yeah, because it was nine. Oh, okay. I think dexterity and endurance will probably be important for you, and probably perception and concentration. Definitely concentration, endurance, and dexterity. So then bring dexterity to... And wait. speed, probably. What's the difference between dexterity and endurance? Like, which one's more important? Endurance means how well you can be hit. Oh, okay, and then that dexterity one's like Dexterity means locks. your accuracy. So dexterity, make it to 15. Okay. And then endurance to 14. And then the rest of it to perception. 
Gotcha. Alright. Babush! You're a gamer, you are a shadow lark, male. Hey, hey. Alright, let's uh let's continue. After twenty two minutes. Ready to exit the character editor. We're all done? We're ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Whoa. You open your eyes, your head is aching, and you immediately realize you have no idea where you are. Uh. The only thing you can remember about last night is the terrible storm, the black of night cut with flashes of lightning. Then you remember something, movement in the darkness, a shadowy presence. Slowly you begin to realize that you have no memory of anything before the storm of last evening. In fact, you have no idea who you even are. It takes much effort before you are able to remember even the most personal information about yourself, your name. For a moment, you are relieved to have remembered anything at all. But alas, your relief is short-lived as you look around and assess your situation. You are standing in a strange house, in an unknown location, having little more than your name in your possession. When I first saw this, it reminded me of Age of Empires. Because it's like a building and stuff. Hit the OK button. Whoa! It's like 3D, but it's not. Alright, so we did a quick save there, just so we have something to fall back on. Alright, and now we begin Nerd Gamer 2K story. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Well, you woke up from a dream, apparently. Um, these are your menu options, which... Hidden in shadows, silent. I'm not sure what that is. That's your inventory. That's a big inventory. Plenty of room. This is your... Clothes. What you wear and armor and stuff like that. This is... Your thingies. Your character thing. Your tasks and abilities and stuff. Quest journal. Boop Spell boop. journal. I nah. like that sound. That's kind of cool. Ooh. You're, You're now, now fighting, fighting empty handed. I want my weapon. You're still fighting empty handed. You took my sword away. Maybe I need to find a sword. Yeah, I mean, you have a sword ability, but you don't actually have a, a sword. This icon will flash when you have gained enough experience to advance to the next level. Okay, so that's what the plus is for. You're about to camp. Time will advance rapidly, allowing you to regain hit points and mana points quicker. And press escape at any time to end resting. The longer you rest, the greater chance you have of being caught by a random encounter. And then this here is your, what, the floppy disk? <laughs> <laughs> that's your save thing, so. It actually kind of looks like a save thing. Alright, so... We can't really zoom in. This is what we got. Where do you want to go? Why are you controlling it? Well, because I'm here in front of the mouse. But you could, I mean, this is all turn-based, so... Yeah, but it's just hard to explain. <clears throat> well, you could point. Go to the chest. Okay, you want to go to the chest. You see a basic chest constructed of hard wood and bands of copper and... There's a dagger in there, and a sealed note. Hello? Hello? Grab them. Okay. <laughs> I think actually... Alright. So, now you have them in your inventory, so what are you going to do now? Now I'm going to look at my inventory. All right. What do you want to do? Look at them. Put that on your... Nope. Try to take the sword to the sword. Yeah. To <gasps> primary. All right. So there you go. And this other part? Read it. There you go. You don't know who I am, but I know who you are. I'm sure you are very confused right now, but you must gather yourself quickly. 
I've hidden a few basic supplies for you. They are out back near the well. Hopefully you'll remember the secret spot. You need to find a man named Maddock in the village of Aradel, which is just a short walk northeast of here. He'll know who you are, and he has been instructed to give you a small package upon your arrival. Be very careful. This land has been befouled and is not safe. If you wish to live, I suggest you stay on the main roads and paths. Do not wander. E. The name looks Maddox, like a smiley face. <laughs> the name Maddock means nothing to you, nor does the initial E. With nothing else to go on, perhaps finding this person named Maddock will be your best chance to make sense of this confusion. Yeah. Ah, so it looks like you have a quest. Find Maddock in the village of Aradel. Aradel is located north northeast of where you awoke. Yeah, but I want to look at the well. Okay. I think... Just... Objects... Okay, we need to walk over here then. You step outside the walls of the dilapidated house and breathe deeply. The air is humid, still saturated from last night's rain. Although you do not recognize the area around you, it seems strangely familiar. The ghostly remnants of a nearby abandoned buildings look overgrown and unwelcoming. You stand for just a minute and take it in, hoping that something will trigger an avalanche of memories to crash through and make sense of all this, but nothing comes to you. There's a rope going down the well. Pull it up. Not yet. I want to look at the thingy. What thingy? There's a thingy next to the well thingy. Oh, this? Yeah. Yes. Oh, this seems increasingly familiar to you. Yes, you've been here before. Somehow you know this area, yet it is strange. As you become gradually more confident that you recognize your surroundings, you feel as if any remaining memories of your own identity seem to be slipping away ever more. You see a hollowed out tree stump with a hinged lid. Um, well, let's see. Let's get over to it. Alright, looks like you've got healing elixirs, mana potions, <laughs> leather sandals, and a lockpick. Sweet, told you to go over there. So, I think. I think we have to clean. Sounds right. like the noise is from. EverQuest. <laughs> I'm sure it had some, uh... Okay, so nothing else there. Alright, now what? Put the shoes on. Oh! Hee hee hee. Alright. Feet! Unskilled armor! Unskilled armor. Penalty silent. Oh! The so you can't be silent with these, apparently. So, oh, so I'm only silent when I'm not wearing shoes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is true in reality anyways. Okay, top... I, sp I suppose you can always take it off when you need to be silent. I don't know. Oh, no, just leave it off. You're going to go barefoot. See <laughs> what you can do. <laughs> See, I'm going to be a hobbit today. See what you can do. Do blah, blah, blah. Do what? <laughs> See what you can do with the lock pick. Okay, never mind. I wasn't sure if it was, like, an alternative weapon or something. No, I think it just needs to be in your inventory in order to pick locks. Ah. Now go down to Will. You see a well. Yes. Alright. <laughs> you only find a moldy yeah. bucket filled with smelly water. Let's get out of here. Is there anything in that bucket? It says the same thing. Oh, I wasn't sure if maybe there was something else in there. All right, let's well, let's go to this bucket and see what we got. Or a barrel. God. Rotting wood. You got torches in here. We need them. Cause you never know when you need a torch. Oh, it's like that. Whoa! Can you grab that torch that's next to your bed? Oh, let's find out. Because I'm thinking maybe it's like other games where you can take torches down. I think it lights up. What the scones? Oh, you did! Oh, I'm so smart! Nice. 
I'm going off of Minecraft rules. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing now? Um, why is there blood on the ground? That's a good question. There's not an option to click on it, though. Is there... Go next to the chair. Here? Yeah, yeah. You can just drag your mouse. Oh, I know. Well, we're... Can you click on the chair? No. Okay. Then go next to those pieces of wood. Right there. Maybe there's something hidden. Nope. Go up to that thingy up there. <laughs> Here? Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. oh! Be quiet, dude. You need to attack it. Is that what we're gonna do is attack it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Quiet! <laughs> you still wanna attack it? We'll try to go behind it. Not in front of it. It's gonna follow you. So this way? Uh, if you can. If it starts following you that way, then just go the opposite way. It's because it hears you. This town has clearly suffered a catastrophic event. Some of the buildings are burned out. Others appear to have succumbed to neglect after being abandoned. You notice remnants of war lying about. Rusted swords, dented shields, and fragments of bone. See, this is something that you don't have in the modern games anymore. You have this little narration going on. Or you can try to attack it. Like, go in front of it and then use your sword. You have a dagger. Alright, so you're gonna try? Well, you're gonna try. Oh. Okay. Or should we save first? I guess you could. Just be safe. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll just say NG. Whoops. 2K. Fight. see a fang salamander that has spotted you. Yeah, you have to get closer. Oh, so if you had a bow and arrow, you could have shot it from there. Okay. Well, that sounds it's like, like it kinda gushing hurts. out blood. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Eight experience points. Ah, my ear hurts. Oh, so you're down thirty. You're you're at forty one. You're down to thirty six. So. Oh well. These here's your experience. So you level up when you get the thousand. Then here's your encumbrance, meaning how many, how much you can carry. So you still got plenty you can carry. All right, what are we doing now? The building. Oh, ah! what the heck? You ran into a cactus. Oops. I didn't realize I was a cactus. <laughs> Me neither. Okay, don't. Oh, don't. They're. It's surrounded by spikies. I think we can get around it, and there's also doors and stuff in here. Go in too. the door. This one here. No. That one. That one. You see a moderately heavy door. Okay. How about open it? Whoops. Oh, chest. Money. Take it. Oh, you know how it showed that chest? I think that's one of my skills to see hidden objects. Oh, you're right. I bet Because you. it's hidden. Yeah, I don't see anything in there. And it showed the door. <laughs> yeah, don't see anything else. Nope. Can't click on any of that stuff. Ooh, go into that kitchen looking building. This? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's see if we can go this way. You're gonna run into the cactus. There's a cactus there, too. Try to go through the forest. Let's see if we can maybe go this way. Oh! There we go. Another, uh. Oh, what's this? 
Looks like there's a door here. We're going in here, right? Read the sign first. The Minotaur. 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 It's a broken half thingy. hanging sign outside. Okay, so this is an abandoned inn. So I guess you're right. It was kind of like a kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go into the building on down first. Down, okay. Yeah. Look to see if there's anything. Not seeing anything here. There's a door. Up. Oh, here. Okay. So you want to go there? Yeah. Don't... Yeah, go in there. There might be room for you to use the mouse if you want to. I don't think it's going to mess... Hopefully it won't mess anything up if you want to... I can reach it from here. Okay. This will be easier than telling you what to do. Stupid mouse. Okay. This is all turn based. Ooh, so. stairs. Ah, uh, stairs. I'll go there in a little bit. There's a well over there. Uh oh. Man, I wish I chose the bow and arrow. Stupid. It says silent, but I'm not silent, obviously. Ah, very refreshing. Oh, that's cool. Yay, I got a hit point. Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> I wonder how many times I can do this. Although I wish it wasn't one hit point. Sweet, normally it only happens once, like in that Final Fantasy game I have on my iPod. That is kind of cool. You s <laughs> Stupid! If it's sealed, you might be able to... What if you right-click it? No, it's not. Anything. Wait. Her... I don't know how to use those. What if you right-click it? That's that. Yeah. Um, no, don't no. do that. Put it back in there. Um, well, I'm gonna drop the shoes since I can't use them. Oh, don't do that. I Keep, can't use them. Well, you might be able to sell them later. Yeah, hold on to stuff. Yeah, skeleton. Cool. Aw, I can't wear. What the heck? Oh, I see how it's turn based. There's an upstairs. Oh, yeah, I see that. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I can. It'll probably say that I can't do it. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder. Oh, that's so cool. But what does penalty silence mean? Um. Well, maybe you're still silent. Um, it's just you're not skilled with that armor, so you get a yeah, who cares? penalty for it. I'm keeping the cloak. So, oh. may so maybe the shoes don't really hurt anything then. Maybe I can walk over spiky stuff. That could be. Maybe that's why you got hurt. Because it was a thorn bush. Maybe. Potion of haste. Makes you fast. Benny and the Dragon? That doesn't look like a D. Ah. Oh a bow! Cool. <laughs> Sweet. So I can still use a bow. Oh yeah, you just don't have any skill on it, but 
How would I use a secondary? I don't know, actually. Oh, that's how. So, bow or dagger. That ah. it switches it. That makes sense. Or you need arrows. I do. No, bow doesn't it does you no good unless you have arrows. Unless this is an awesome game. <laughs> it is an awesome <laughs> game. I just Kay. don't know how awesome it is. Oh! Yay for shoes! <sighs> or not. <laughs> <sighs> Should I go upstairs? I don't know. Whoa! Apparently you went upstairs. Entering Elder Hollow Inn. Upstairs. go this way. Well, what's the point of having a door there? Well, probably because part of the wall's been... <laughs> That's so cool. Ooh. I like that find hidden things skill. This is a cool game. really see anything other than just some doors doors locked hmm, there is a treasure chest ah, well you have an 8% <laughs> chance ah but what's in the chest bring up your inventory I only have to what oh, you the? still got you still got your lock picks. Okay, that is good. Weird. I, I wasn't sure if it like they broke or something. Ooh, almost. Oh, you broke a lock pick. So I can use it twice. What the heck? What the heck? I think it's automatic. I don't think you can. Two. No, I can't. It's automatic. So it's like. So I have to bring my skill up, apparently. Ah! We're so close! What if I use all my lockpicks? Well, then you won't have any lockpicks left. Oh. Oh. You Maybe broke it. I should have brought that skill up even higher. Well, you know you can come back here. Yeah. Good thing we're recording it. That way you'll remember. <laughs> remember what? To come back here. Evil! Whoa. It's like a dead body. It's a dungeon! The smell of damp, musty earth fills your nostrils as you descend the stairs into the chilly cellar underneath the abandoned house. You see many long-legged spiders scurrying across the walls and ceiling. The music's scary. <laughs> the drips of water and stuff falling off the... It's kind of dark. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Are you sure? Because at least Ooh, you can see. I'm holding it. Oh, another torch. So will that torch go out? Or I don't know. is it only... Oh, I can take those when I leave. Oh, hey. Cool. Oh my gosh. Broken wine racks and bottles lie everywhere. It appears that any wine of value has already been taken, or unfortunately smashed upon the ground. What if I was like a... Uh, uh, what are those cards like, call like those people that drink? Like in Sims Medieval, wouldn't you have that option? Um... Drunks? <laughs> it's called a, a specific thing. No, there's alchemy. Which no, allows you to make alchemy. potions and stuff. Well, you can't make potions in mi Sims Medieval. Brewmaster? No. That's when you're making things. Well. It's called something. A specific person. Like. Bartender? No! Jeez! Loading. Don't set the uh I can't set anything. <laughs> we don't know. 
you. Oh, I have to have arrows. Your target is obscured. And besides, you got all these trees in the way. Whoa. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I'm right there. Yeah. You're at. You're in the center, mm -hmm. if that helps. See, you can. Oh. Stupid tree. But they can go through. Can they? Look at that. It's moving. Or... Yeah, it's moving, but it's not... Maybe I can go that way. You never put him back in the box. Oops. Yeah, we forgot about our turtle. He was having some water. He's okay. He's making a bunch of noise. I don't seem to be very quiet. Uh oh. You caught the attention of someone else. Ow! Ow! Dang it, I'm gonna die! Got one. Jeez. You may want to go back to that well. <laughs> yeah, probably. Heavy Iron armor? Nah. I would still take it. Take whatever you can get because you can sell it. I can? Oh, yeah. Darn. See, if I hadn't used the stupid pop lock things. Now you're only at 27 hit points. Are you sure you want to go? I see what you're doing. Willow sap. That's probably for making potions. Moving this thing is difficult. I think you can use the arrow keys too, but it's kind of the way the keyboard is situated. Yeah, I wouldn't want to use it anyways. Kind of sitting at an angle. I like how the blood stain just stays there. Ah, oh, this will take forever. <laughs> so if you ever need to get healed, this is apparently the place to go. Yeah, this run, is awesome. I wonder if it runs out of water. That's what I thought, but it appears to not be running out. Maybe not yet. Maybe eventually it does. Maybe. As I bump into my mic. Yeah. What's down here? Arr! Lizards. It's a salamander, remember? Oh. Can't go that way. Or is it a basilisk? A basilisk? Basilisk. Basilisk games. Or from Harry Potter. What the hell? A keg of black powder. How do I get? I don't even know what I can do with the black powder. I, I know you can light it. Black powder is used for blowing things up. <laughs> nope, apparently can't do that. <sighs> Blow out the light. Ooh. Five plus hit points. Apparently you can wear that. That's blue. Well, look at all these potions. What about the skull cap? That's heavy oh, armor. Just click it for a moment. Let's just see if it... Yeah, it does give you a... Does that have to have heavy armor? But it gives armor. you armor, though. That's good. You still have plenty of room to carry. Well, maybe armor is a good point here until you get your other skills up. Yeah, but I don't have, like, thing for it. Like, will it even be useful because I don't have the skill? Um, I don't know. Because I think that it'd only be useful if you had the skill. But at least the person, like, dresses up to what you dress them. That's what I like. I should have got the bow. I would have had more of an advantage. Die! 
Why? Ugh. A graveyard. Cara, Cara D. D. Died 681, I'm assuming. Margo Copperwind died 702. I rest now with my husband. Work. Gunthar, 691. Of all the things I've lost, I miss you the most. Aww. Oh. Erased. Oh. It's worn out, apparently. What's in there? Something. Bones. Nothing in it. The corpse is rife with disease. Save versus disease success. You have successfully fought off the disease. Dungeon fever. Oh. Um, I don't know how I... Why is it nighttime? Oh, yeah, it's getting dark. I'm scared. What if monsters come out? The monsters come out. <laughs> like <laughs> Minecraft. Do I have to put up torches and they'll leave me alone? <gasps> Fairies! They're probably fly it's fireflies. It's darker. <laughs> Can I close a door? Oh! <laughs> Doorway. Go. I need to find like a place that actually has complete doors. That way it can be hidden. I don't think you'll find anything because these are all busted up and stuff. Might need a light. Why I'm, is it so dark? I don't know what to do. Oh, there's a pathway that I need to follow. Yeah. But I'm scared. Click your skill journal. I'm not, it's above the safe thing. See? There, that's what you need to do. Northeast, so this way. Right. Okay, okay. Whoa. Whoa, look at that painting. It's like a banana and a carrot. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Elder Hollow. Elder Hollow. Are those dragonflies or fairies? I have no idea. I'm guessing they're dragonflies, but I'm gonna say they're fairies. Well, it's like all blocky. That's cool. Man. Grimhold, northwest. Northeast is Aradel. Southwest, Elder Hollow. That's where you came from. Southeast, Salted Coast. So I guess I need to go there, but I'm gonna go this way. That's the wrong way. I think I'm that gonna is... I'm gonna go this way. That's Grim Grimhold that way. There we go. Yeah, and then I go There's this way. Something's oh. coming. Right there. Aha. Uh -huh. I noticed that the ones back there had red around them and these ones have purple. I wonder if they're stronger. Or weaker. I'm scared. I should have healed myself. Oops. Oh well. <sighs> Idiot. Actually, these ones seem easier. They're kind of pink, not really red. Ah. Uh, is there a bridge? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, can I go in the water? <laughs> I don't want to go swimming. I want to go swimming. <laughs> What's over here? Uh, playing hint. There's a sign town or a town sign nearby. <laughs> Next to it and touch it to activate this location ba -ba -ba. in your quick travel menu. You're entering a village that is smaller than the deserted one you awoke in earlier. The streets appear to be mostly vacant, yet sounds of life can be heard within the walls of the buildings. You are hopeful that talking to the locals in this town may help you make sense of your situation. Aridel! And it's been added to your quick travel menu. Aridel sounds like Rivendell. Rivendell, yeah, it does. Locked. Oh, stupid. Why didn't I just keep that? Pick locks. Of course, this is an actual town. You may not want to be pick locking from people's homes. <laughs> kind of like Oblivion. They might go crazy. <gasps> Council! Don't cause any trouble. 
Okay. I wonder if they can chase you. That'd be fun. I think they can. <gasps> oh, well. No, well, this one doesn't heal me. <laughs> That's a bummer. Oh, what does it say? Owl Roost. Tavern. There may not be anything open because it's late at night. I wonder if you can go somewhere and rest. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Ah, uh, you see an older distinguished woman. Yeah, she doesn't look too happy. Oh, Standing in a room, nicely decorated tapestries and fine rugs. She appears weary, so she carries much of her stress and is in need of rest. It rhymes. <laughs> Greetings, traveler. I am Alan from Missile Pine, council head here in Missile the village Pine. of Paradell. We got we get very few visitors out this way, so please, if there's anything I can do for you during your stay, please do not hesitate to ask. I need some lockpicks. Yeah, yeah. You nod at two hours. You oh, there you go. So what are you gonna pick there? What is your question? Supplies! This is my office where I conduct the village's business. Next door is the Bethel of the Green Moon, run by Father. Most Michael? Of I think it's Mikkel, who offers healing services up the street to the northeast. You'll find Owl's Roost Tavern, oh, yeah, that's the Magic deal. Emporium, and the Wayward Blacksmith Shop. Airedale is a very small village, and we get very few lives visitors. Happy to stay as long as you want. Local merchants are as happy to see a new face in town. Um. Strange beast. Oh, it must be far from outside Fair War if you're unaware of the events in this region. Well, this land is embroiled in a war that we are currently fighting with the Racker. What you see out there, the beasts that roam the land and the ruins are all remnants of this war. Sound like you said cracker. Crackers. Uh, is regarding the honor and justice about reclaiming something that was taken from the people. Three years ago, without reason or provocation, the Oracle chose to undermine centuries of peaceful coexistence with us by stealing the crux of ages straight out from under our noses. <laughs> is it the crux? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. The very spirit of Therimore, taken as a vagabond, would take an apple. Of course, there was a huge public outcry over this event, and the Chancellor issued a proclamation stating their actions consulted an act of war. We have been fighting this conflict with them ever since. The Crux of Ages is a most prized artifact and a jewel of absolute perfection and a symbol of Theramore's majesty. When humans first settled this region long ago, the Crux was discovered by miners within a single block of granite. I'm trying not to sneeze. After it was removed from the stone, it became an object of inspiration and power for all of Theomor. For 300 years, it has rested in a vault to inspire our capital city, only to be brought out once per year during the summer festival so that all Therish citizens could view it. Well, were you done? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, three years ago, an agent broke into the vault through a secret tunnel and took it. They took it because they coveted it. From the very day it was found and pulled from the rock, the O'Rocker claimed ownership of it. This act of theft is an insult to all of Theramore, and the Chancellor has vowed to continue the military action until the jewel is recovered. O'Rockers. Hmm, not much is known about them really. From what I understand, they are a race of underground dwelling creatures. Some say they are twisted descendants of the dwarves, but no one really knows. They are horribly bothered by the sun and never come above the ground, even at night, because the open air scares them. They thrive in the dark, narrow passages of the underground, surrounded by stone. They rarely fight on their own. They prefer to swarm their enemies with the underground creatures that they seem to hold command over. That is why this land is now so plagued with vile creatures. They use these creatures to wear us down, to drive us from these lands. She pauses. Say, I have a book of the history of Thamor in the drawer beside my desk. You are welcome to take it if you want. It is rather outdated, but perhaps there is information in there that can be of help to you. Yay. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't feel like reading anymore. Okay. Okay. 
midst of paperwork, you see what appears to be a calendar segmented off into various moon phases and seasons, freshly marked with handwritten reminders of appointments. The year on the calendar says 725. Uh, there's that history book. I'll read it sometime later. It does go out. Well, we know that much. But it lasts a really long time. Ooh, maybe I can... Oh, it's gonna be sit. careful. Don't be trying to take stuff. You don't want to make enemies around here. Sounds like a priest. Or like a church. Ooh! He looks like a real person. I think these might be based off of some of the people that actually created the game. Oh, that's cool. Fair amount of slight build. So this is this. Yeah, I think that guy is a priest. Something Welcome like that. Welcome to the Bethel, the Green Moon, weary traveler. My name is Father Macau. Hey, we heard about him. Here at the Bethel, we can heal your wounds and restore your soul for a small donation, of course. How do I know if I'm cursed? Um, I think you would have some. Like here. Yeah, something? I think it would say something there. Do I, should I heal? It's only like nine. No. Yeah. Like, no, you you heal over time. It's been going up. I don't know if you've noticed that. It was it like has? down. It's, yeah, it's now up to forty one. It's up to Oh yeah. Cool. I didn't realize I picked that one. Whoa. Be careful. I think no. I can take it. Like I took that lady's oh, oh But wait. she but she said you can take it. Absolute restoration. Should I take it? Maybe you should save first. <laughs> I, I just save go, over this? Yeah, save over that. Um, yeah, let's write that. Risk. Oh, told ya. You just went... You committed Oh! <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm glad you saved. I'm just gonna kill him for the heck of it. <laughs> oh! You have died. You feel your spirit pull away from its fleshy prison. It's so descriptive. Close your eyes, but for a moment, upon opening them, you see the whole spiritual world around you glowing with energy. You feel at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got that saved, so I guess it would be my turn. Really? I think so. Well, now I know not to take things. On that goes. Hello! Right. Whoa, what the... Oh, this is just the uh the Nobody credits. wants to see that. Oh, well, you know, it might be kind of interesting to know that the music was done by Glorian and Victor Stoyanov. Where's the music? The, like the theme music. When it first starts. Uh-huh. Alright, so let's begin a new adventure for me. Me, 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 me. Killer! Gamer! Alright, Killer Gamer. Alright, so what am I going to be for my origin here? Let's see, am I from the north? Bear? The rocky areas? The woodlands? Or the coast? Hmm. Sailor would be interesting. The, uh, let's see, Rifters? Let's see, Rifters are magically inclined. I might do that one. Not too much in the Baron. And the Northlanders are kind of interesting. <coughs> I don't know. Not too much in the coal. Let's go rift. Alright. Alright, so... Let's see. No. 
I do like druids. Virtuous. Nefarious. I'm gonna go virtuous on mine. And let's see. No, no. Most likely will be a magic user. Um, or healer. So there's some tips at the very bottom, so if you're looking for a quick start, you can do that if you want. Or a ranger. I love magic user, so I think I'm going to go with the magic user. Although healer would be good too. Hmm. You know, I think I might go for a healer. That would be something different. Which kind of makes sense because, you know, he's trying to promote goodwill. So what do you think? A healer that came, comes out from the... Uh, Great Rift? Well, they're very magically inclined. I was also thinking maybe a sailor would be an interesting idea. Yeah. S someone along the... I don't know. What do you think? Like a sailor navigator that likes to promote goodwill as a healer? Yeah. You like that one? I like it better. Alright, let's go with that one. Alright. Okay, so my skills. I have divination, which is good for magic. Oh, let's see... All right, got that one. Elemental. That's fire, earth, and water. Yeah, I'll do that one. It's good to have some uh, other types of magic. All right, what type of armor? This increases my noise. Oh, jeez. Well, Lightweight armor is lightweight protection, soft hard, and studded leathers. The more skilled you are with any armor, the less injury you will receive. I'm not too worried about the noise of my movement. Let's try light armor. Mapping. Now, considering that I come from the ocean. sailors, and the, yeah, that seems like a pretty good thing to have. Dodge. Yeah, I'm not too worried about dodge. Hide in shadows. No lore. Yeah, I like lore. Meditation would be important. Because of the uh, mana points. Let's see. Negotiating. No. No. Survival. Dress wounds. That would be good since I'm a healer. Unarmed combat. No. There's all. Oh, see, I don't have anything for weapons. That might be a good idea. If you can. I am going to have to get rid of one of these skills, unfortunately. Armor? No, oh, I want to have armor. I think I might get rid of the armor. Maybe, it, maybe we can add skills later. Gee, I can only hope. <laughs> Alright. So let's see. A healer that's got, I guess, a sword. I could use a... Oh, what about throwing? Oh, yeah, normally healers have, like, bows. In Lord of the Rings. Hmm. Because they're normally wood elves. A bow. You'd have the advantage to, like, destroy things that are far away. I'd be able to do it with, um, magic, too. Hmm. Although you'd have to find arrows... But you know, you don't see, honestly, how many um, sailor healers <laughs> do you see with bows? Not very much. Yeah. Okay, this would be different. All right, let's choose. Let's choose a bow. I like that. Upgrade the skill level to. All right, so one of these, we can upgrade some of these. All right, let's do healing, and then we got one more. Maybe, maybe bows. Yeah. Because we'll can. Uh, yeah, probably. That would be good. Oh wait, what about your like elemental thing, arcane? Um, because the higher the skill, the more powerful. True. So that's a cross between. I'm, I'm more magic than I am. I don't know. What do you think? I think you should do higher magic. That'd be cool if someone just did the two magics. 
and made him really high see, skills. See, he's not much of a magic user, though. I just have it there as a backup. I kind of like want him to be half and half. I'm going to so go for So then, bow. yeah. Yeah. All right, so... All right, let's see what else we got here. We got 15 points here. Where am I going to put them? Uh, let's see. Wisdom would be important. Perception. This is your character's ability to perform acts of magic and divine challenging. Channeling. Well, I guess that would be important. Concentration. Maintain attention and mental focus. Well, that seems like that would be important. Intelligence. This is for magic users, which I am not. You kind of are. Kind of. Let's see what else we got. Speed. Not too worried about that. Endurance. Endurance would be good. Dexterity. Oh, this is good for bows. Alright, strength. A lot of healers don't have a lot of strength, necessarily. They're so weak. Well, it depends. You could have a very strong uh, healer. Endurance. Endurance is... Let's bring it up to 15. Intelligence. <sighs> Bring it up to 10. Wisdom. We got five more points. Intelligence is higher than wisdom. Oh, see, here's for healers, wisdom contributes to the amount of mana point gained every level. Okay, so really intelligence is for magic users, wisdom is for healers, so I can save my points. Maybe bring it up in wisdom. What else does intelligent do? Elemental resistance, okay. Um, bring up a strength? How about his dexterity with the bow? Mm. What else do I need? Concentration. I think I'm kind of happy with this. Do the dexterity all the way. Um. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I will do that. All right. So I'm a cleric. A male. I can't change that. Oh, let's choose face. I might go with him, I don't know. The guy with the... Got no hair is interesting. <laughs> kind of looks like a sailor healer, maybe. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Alright, I think we've got Killer Gamer on here. So we'll go ahead with this. Are you sure? Yes. Whoa. Flash of light. Ooh, you open your eyes, your head is aching. Yada, yada, yada. For a moment, you were relieved I remembered anything at all. All right, so we look around, we assess our situation, and we're standing in a strange house, and we don't remember a thing. All right, welcome to Escalon. Copyright 2007-2008. For helpful playing tips, press F1. Let's hit F3 and see what kind of keyboard shortcuts we have. Alright, so I for inventory, S for stats, E to equip, paper doll, window toggle. Oh, that's the paper doll thing that we saw where you put stuff on things. Magic spell journal, quest journal, camp. I think camp is like, I guess, sleeping somewhere. Um, enter, swap primary alternate weapons, torch, on, off, walk, lock. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, I guess maybe keep it so you're not walking around. I don't know. Space. Passively wait one turn so you can stand in one spot and just wait. Tab. Display tactical grid. Ooh, that might be interesting. Escape. Close all windows. Left shift. Force. Combat. 
bash objects, strike NPC, or split combined inventory objects. Not quite sure what that is. F1, helpful playing tips. F2, quick save. F3, keyboard shortcut. That's where we're at right now. Mouse buttons. Yada yada yada. Left control. Well, I'm not not not, not a Macintosh user. Oh, that's with one mouse button. Left click plus click equals right mouse button. Uh, all right. Oops. Helpful playing tip: Escon's game world operates on. I thought it said iTunes. <laughs> Turns. Nothing happens until you take a step and perform an action. Learn to use this to your advantage. Making noise. All right. Let's see. Next tip. Torches on walls can be taken. <laughs> we already found that out. Mm. So don't get caught in the dark without any extras. I'm smarter than that. Click on the auto map window to see locations you can quick travel to. To activate each location, you must travel there and touch the local marker for that area. After that, you can quick travel back, so long as you are not in a dungeon with enemies nearby. So where is the auto map window? Is that this? Or is it no, maybe this is it. Wearing a piece of armor without being skilled in the appropriate category still gives you some physical protection, but it reduces your two-hit accuracy and the defensive bonuses you may have acquired through your dexterity and speed. So it helps, but then it doesn't help. The third mouse button, the metal button, <laughs> the W key will enable walk lock. Your character will walk in the direction of the cursor until you press any key. Aha! When you discover a locked object, any keys in your inventory are tried on the lock. If you have the proper key, the lock will release automatically. If you have lock picks, you will be given the option to pick the lock. Hold down the left shift button while left clicking on a highlighted object to bash it with your currently held weapon. It's just another way to open lock chests and doors. Interesting. I wonder if that would that have worked. I don't think I'd want to try it with a bow, it might break. To cast a radiant spell, you must right-click the target. I ain't worried about Mac users. Uh, even the best mage cannot rely on magic all the time. Consider a minor skill using a melee weapon for when your magic fails you. That's why I have a bow. It's not really melee, though. When you see silent in the active effects, we saw that window, that means no other creature can currently hear you. Ah, okay. So when it says silent over here, that means no one can hear you. If you want to reduce the distance at which others can hear you, increase your move silence skill or stand still by pressing the space bar. Demon oil is a multi-purpose tool. You can injure enemies with it, create barriers of fire, or use it to destroy doors and chests. Well, we haven't come across demon oil yet. To rid yourself of an inventory item, you can pick it up from your inventory and drop it in the game window. However, you can also save items by placing them in chests. They will be safe until you return to retrieve them. So there's an idea. So we've seen the chest around there. If we grab something, we can like put it into a chest and come and get it later. Bashing objects is very hard on your weapons. Anytime you bash an object, you run the slight risk of destroying your weapon. All right. I kind of figured that might happen. A spell or potion granting you cat's eyes allows you to see in the dark without producing any light. It's perfect for when you're trying to be stealthy. <laughs> ah, hide in shadows. To make hide in shadows more effective, stay next to a wall or in a corner surrounded by several walls. This will increase the effect of the skill. Being surrounded by many trees, especially at night, will also increase the effect of the skill dramatically. Something to keep in mind because you've got that skill. Maximum weapon damage is calculated from the weapon itself and with your skill. Bows use dexterity and concentration. Thrown weapon strength and dexterity and melee strength and speed. Alright, I think that's enough tips right now. Alright, let's go over here. I'm silent apparently at the moment. I get a dagger. Yay! And a note. Yay! Alright. Apparently I don't like daggers. You know who I am, but I know who you are. You're a killer gamer. Alright, so basically I want to find Maddox. 
Dun dun dun! I got a quest. No. Now what? Let's see. Oh, we know we can take the torch. Take it, take it, take it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I step outside. I breathe deeply. Woo! And I get some more torches. Seems good to me. Alright, let's go over here. Scroll of Flesh Boil. Doesn't sound... Um, nice. Fun. Let's see. You can put the shoes on. Yes, I can. Oh, I get unskilled weapon penalty and unskilled armor penalty. How nice. Apparently he doesn't like that stuff. Alright, what do I do with, with these? Right click to read. Ah, you have learned the spell Flesh Boil. That sounds lovely. Let's take a look at this. Realm, Divination, I got Bless and Flesh Boil. Right click a spell name for a description. Uh, hold down a number key when clicking OK to quick set your ready skill for faster retrieval. Bless. This incantation bestows upon the caster a divine blessing. Increase the caster's two hit maximum damage. Okay. Whoops. Flesh Boy is a ranged spell which bathes a single target with divine energy, causing blisters and lesions upon the exposed flesh. Hey, that sounds like a great thing for a healer to have. Yep. Alright, so I guess we'll do Bless under 1. And Flesh Boil we'll put under 2. I think that's how that works. Let's go OK. Divination school of three is required to ca Oh, okay. These are different skill levels, so I guess I have to do level one of that. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright. Blessed level one has been readied in quick slot one. Right click the cast. Ah, okay. Maybe I should get the other one. Hold down a number key when clicking OK to set your ready. Oh, gotcha. Both a spell and a ca Oh, gotcha. So I guess I can only do one spell at a time? Yep. Alright, let's go over here. Oh. All I'm getting is moly water. Alright, well, we can't go that way. Let's go this way. Nothing was here. We took that. Alright. Oh! Where's my bow? I don't have a bow. Alright, let's do this. Um, there's that. Will that shoot off a thing? Maybe? I hope. Oh. oh. There's like smoke and stuff. I got like 20 out of 28 mana points left. Alright. Looks like you have a ponytail. Kind of does. <sighs> I'm tired. There is a chest in there I can get to. Just like yours. So I, d I guess it wasn't really hidden. You had that lore skill, remember? You got the skill to see hidden objects. Was that lore? Yeah, that's what I lore thought that is. was the. I thought that was something else. No. Oops. Money. Money's good. All right. Too bad we can't click on the picture. Mm. Alright, I didn't get stabbed with the thing. What does it say? 
Okay, this is Elder Hollow, apparently. I'm gonna walk around some trees. What is this? Dedicated to the Riders of Theomore, Valent Defenders of the Commonwealth. stuff there, so let's just move forward. Pick up stuff later. I looked at that sign, right? That was Elder Hollow. Mm -hmm. We know it's going to get darker, so... Oops. We know what that says, because we know it from your game. Let's go this way. Uh-oh. Time to get mean. Target is obscure, it figures. Back. Now it's not. Yes, it is. Try the one behind it. Fizzed. This is not good. He's gone. This other one is like attacking me now. Alright. I could have used a sword. <laughs> yeah. Do I have a oh, you know what? I have a knife. I didn't realize that. Remember? I have the dagger. Duh. But I wasn't using it. Well, no, because I was I was um, right clicking instead of uh. left clicking. I'm gonna need to look at my mana. You have mana potions. Mana? Yeah, I could. I'd rather save it. <sighs> really need it though. <sighs> All right, I'm at Aradel. All right, so now that we're here during the daylight. Apparently those look like people's rooms, so we don't want to break into them, that would be bad. Don't cause any trouble. Yeah, like you when you're trying to do <laughs> something. Alright. Alright, let's go in here. Let's see what we can find out. Let's talk to the lady. Alright, we know you're Eleanor. Um, yeah, do you have some time to ask us some questions? I woke up in an abandoned house. I don't know where I'm at. Southwest, she looks like Elder Hollow. Um, well, now, you're in Erido. We're a small coastal village located. Let's well, see. West of here is Grimhold, the old fortress that used to take travelers into Tangle Tree Forest. North of here is North Parish. And south is an area called the South Coast. It's, it's Porto. The owner of House Bruce Tim sells miscellaneous supplies. He may have a regional map of the area if you think that would help you. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to know where I'm at, but it doesn't explain how I got here. Hmm, your situation is very odd indeed, Eleanor says with a puzzled look on her face. Well, I know everyone here in Aradell and the surrounding region, and I've never met you before. There have been several shipwrecks along the Salted Coast to the south in recent weeks. Perhaps you were a passenger or hand on one of these ships and have suffered amnesia. Or maybe you were bitten by one of the vile creatures which roam this area. Many of these beasts produce toxins that have unknown effects on humans, possibly even memory loss. Why don't you stay in Aradel for a couple of days and see if your memory turns? You can visit Father Michael next door, don't steal his stuff, and the Bethel <laughs> Moon if you need further healing. And you can get a room at the Owl's Roost Tavern. Uh, okay, let's see. I already asked that one. I've seen strange beasts roaming around. I think that was what you did, because that was mm -hmm. the war, Prince of Ages, how it was stolen, Wooly uh, uh Let's see. I need supplies. Can you tell me a bit about your town? Of course. Blah, blah, blah. I went over that. All right. I'm looking for a man named Maddock. 
Oh yes, Maddock is an elderly gentleman who lives just down the street southeast of here. That would be down here somewhere. No, that's west. You're right, southeast is over here. Um, on the other side of the Bethel of the Green Moon. He's a bit of a cadre old man, not too fond of visitors. Thank you. Um, that's it. All right. Let's see. Nothing around here. So I think this is that Bethel thing. Yeah. Oh, did she say I could have mm -hmm. that that book? Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let's save first. All right. There's your stuff. I'm gonna put my stuff the opposite direction, and that's going to be. We'll call it killer um, town, <laughs> for lack of a better name. All right. <laughs> Miss the paperwork, you see blah 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 blah. Alright. It wasn't here, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. History of Theramore. Alright, yay! We'll look at that later. What else do we have in here? We can't take those. Probably don't want to. Alright. Oh, that's the door. Can't go over the grate. Or you can walk over it, but you can't really do anything with it. Alright, so that's a graveyard. Ooh. Money! Good to know. Alright, let's go down here. So this is a coast. And maybe that's him. see a frail looking man who has seen the passing of many years. Hey, what are you doing here? You can't just barge into someone's house without being invited. I suggest you turn and leave before I teach you a lesson in manners you won't soon forget. The old man picks up a nearby broken table leg as if he intends to use it as a club. Let's see, I'm looking for a man named Maddock. Sorry to disturb you, but I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. He's coughing at me. Sorry for intruding, pardon me. <laughs> I'm looking for Maddock. Ah! Oh, I got 300 experience. That's cool. Why, yes, that's me. The old man looks you up and down for just a moment as if he might recognize you. Hey, I believe I'm expecting you. Your name is Killer Gamer, isn't it? I have something for you. Yes, I'm glad I found you. I was given a strange note and was told I needed to locate you. I hope you can make sense of this confusion. I don't know if I can help you with your confusion, but I do have a letter and some gold that I was told to hold for you. I've kept it in the chest over there. You can fetch it yourself. Cause I ain't getting it for you. I appreciate that you've kept these items secure for me. Who asked you to do this? Who? Well, I don't really. I don't know, really. I try not to get too involved with other people's business. Years ago, I was a courier for Lord Archibald. So, <coughs> so people have always just entrusted me with important matters. A gentleman came to town a while back and paid me to do this job for him. To hold on to these items for someone with your name fitting your description. He wore a mask, and I wasn't able to see his face. I didn't ask who he was. He was a, he was a dread pirate. <laughs> I didn't ask who he was or why he needed this done. It's the curious code not to ask questions. Well, can I ask something else? <laughs> uh, I don't know much about the comings and goings in this village because I pretty much keep to myself, but I'd be glad to chat with you a bit. I guess it's nice to have a visitor, even an uninvited one. Uh, let's see. What has happened to this land? You're not around for a rocker. Uh, those thieving creatures that live on the ground can't be trusted. If you ask me, our forefathers should have wiped them out. I'm glad the current chancellor has forced you to stand up to them. Matic rubs the back of his neck. Eh, I'm just a tired old man, and I don't really care any of this political nonsense anyway. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask someone else. Eleanor at the council. Yeah, we already talked to her. Um, where am I? You don't know where you are? Well, you're in the village of Andel. It perishes a range of the Theramore. Theramore, did you just fall off a boat? <laughs> yes, you're in Theramore. If you're really this lost, you need to find yourself a map. I'd give you mine if I had one. Well, here's a map. Somewhat, I guess. I guess that's what that is. Can I ask you another question? Do you know of any work around here? That might be helpful. You're just going to have to ask around. Maddox says, as if he's annoyed by your question. But I'm telling you, there's not much in the way of jobs around here, especially for some stranger new in town. 
I guess that's it. End. Go on, then. Alright, so I guess we can have this. Oops. Because he said it was for us. Oh, a second sealed note. And a pouch of gold. 300 gold pieces. Well, that could be useful. Um, that's probably his stuff. I don't probably want to Well, get you can look at what's inside. It's not like he's going to harm you. That's true. Just be safe. Let's oh save. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, hey. You never know what's going to happen, right? It only takes a moment to save. Ooh. That? Is that an emerald? Yeah, it is. You should take the emerald and see if he tries to kill you. Because you saved. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's he's not happy with me. Maybe I can <laughs> You don't have any more mana. Nope, I had a little bit more left. Now you have one. You need to switch to the sword. Oh, heal what he is. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't believe you killed him. Uh oh. <laughs> Michael's heard a crime being committed. <gasps> He's gonna try to kill you! Oh, I took the stuff. Well, uh, let's see here. I'm a bad Stay away guy. from the church thing. Go around that building. Don't, don't let him see you. Oh! <laughs> well, I'm definitely not going to keep this, but... No, oh, but what if you get away with it? Oh, I don't want to get away with it. He's a healer. No, you're a killer. You're a killer and you only care about yourself. That's why you're a healer. Oh, well that makes sense. Yes, it does. I like how they act like nothing happened. Eh. Eh, what? A rubber band got in the middle of my toes and it felt like a bug. Oh. How's our turtle doing over there? Sleeping, I think. Like what I want to do. Alright, let's uh... Just for laughs and giggles. Let's go see this guy over here since he... Wait, let's talk to the boss thing. That thing. Up there in the corner. The guard. Guard! Yes, I see him right there. I want to see if he does anything. Talk to him. Pay your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's it. Pay your taxes. Alright, let's go see him now. I wonder if he will do anything. No! <laughs> so you did get away with it. You should keep it. Apparently. Because you stole all his stuff. Jeez, that's expensive. 146? I didn't even look look how much money I got. No way. That's not money, that's experience. Oh. <laughs> but still I don't have a whole lot of money. Just look in your inventory. Um must be good. Click on your inventory. <laughs> you have three fifty. Yeah, so that's still You know, since we have it, we might as well read it. What does it say? Escal on a world of wonder. Although many dispute the origins of our great world, none can argue with splendor and diversity. Escal is divided into five great provinces, with each province consisting of multiple regions. The province of Theomor in the east consists of a temperate climate, rolling hills and dense woodlands. A notable area of Theomor is North Krakomir. Home of Escalon's largest population of goblins. Ooh. To the north and west, this direction, Ugh. is the province of Mistfell. While known no most mostly for its beautiful coastal regions, it also features deserts in the south. Mistfell is the most populated province in all of Escalon and has more cities than any other province. The far western shores, this way, of Escalon belong to the province of Berea. A harsh wasteland known as a desolation. Of smog. Yeah, this largely, largely uncharted area is known to be home to mercenary clans and giants. The most remote areas of the wasteland are said to be home to the colossal beasts. The four 
northern region of Escalon is called the Northland Expanse. An Arctic province of snowy tundra, frozen mount monsters, mountains, <laughs> and glacial valleys. The southern province of Escalon is called the Rift Zone. That's where I was going to come Volcanic from. Volcanic area. Great fissures and rivers of magma in areas where you can So it's like hot and then cold. So where am I from again? You're from oh, Escalon. Oh, the wrong one. That's the one we were given. That's Okay, so... We're not very, uh... Where's the coast? You're in the coast. I guess so. Because that person said that you're the blah 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 coast. That's right. So you're from this town. This say coastal regions to the north and west. So that could be where I'm from. What place was I from again? Um... Uh, from the woods or something? Yeah. Maybe you're in between somewhere. Um, emeralds, the second sealed note. I think we'll save that for the next next time. Alright, so actually, oh, let's um, let's go back to our save one here. Oh, you know what? What oh, if you right. lose it? At... Oh, well, we recorded the whole thing with the bug. We don't need to keep that. Load. Let's load up Killer Town. Okay. Hey, he's back alive again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but now you don't have his stuff. Don't need the stuff. There's a barrel. Maybe there's something in it. Oh, maybe. That we can probably. Ooh, there's a. What the heck? Something there. Ah. Uh, it's sealed. You can bash it. Eh, I don't want to break anything that I've got. All can right, you go in the water? Nope, only Not so too far. far. Cool. I, I didn't know if I could fish there or something. The boat docks there. Alright, well we know this is there's an inn here. And I looked in there. Alright, let's look at this letter. Killer Gamer, you, if you are found, or I'm sorry, if you're reading this and you have made it safely to Aradale and found Matic, I could not risk leaving this document with you due to the sensitivity of the information I'm about to disclose. I was unsure how long you'd be unconscious and I couldn't risk having this document end up in the wrong hands. Matic is a simple man who has lived in this village most of his life and I knew he'd be trustworthy caretaker of this parcel I left for you. Use the gold to buy supplies for yourself, whatever you need to secure your safety and well-being. I wish I could have left you more, but it was all I had. I am sure you're wondering who I am. My identity will be revealed in time, but for now you should simply trust me. Whether you decide to or not is your choice. Now, about yourself. You are part of something very big. An event that has affected this entire region. I hope that's not bad. For your safety, you were placed into hiding and your memory was erased with a special serum. The name you think you remember, Killer Gamer, was imprinted in your mind. I will not reveal your true name here because of the danger it would bring you. So, you should continue to live by the name Killer Gamer. <laughs> it would be wise for you to not draw attention to yourself by asking too many questions about your past. That might be important. Your true identity can be revealed to you, but only if you are willing to accept the risk that accompanies it. You must decide for yourself whether to seek the truth or simply become Killer Gamer and settle into this new life. If you choose the path of truth, it will be a hard and dangerous journey. And so, if the truth is what you seek, you need to start by retrieving an amulet that belongs to you. Before your memory was taken, you requested that I secure a special amulet for you. I did so by slipping it into the coffin of a recently deceased aristocrat named Adler Keldam. He is interred in a vault at Eversleep, Eversleep Cemetery in the North Parish region. I knew his casket would be a secure place to hide your amulet. The problem now is retrieving it. The door to the crypt is locked tight. Smashing the door down or picking the lock might be an option, but it may be easiest to just get the key. The cemetery director, Lyric, lives a bit north of Aradell, and he has the key. 
I am confident that you can figure out a way to get it from him. Once you retrieve your amulet from the crypt, take it to a woman named Lilith, who lives in Tangle Tree Forest. Look for her house in the heart of the woods. I wonder if that's the area you come from. She will tell you what she knows of this amulet and set you on the right path. Finally, you must use this time to rebuild your strength, stamina, and knowledge. You were once very proficient in many skills, which the serum has caused you to forget. Only through experience and practice will you be able to reacquire these skills you have lost. It is the only way you'll be safe. Wow. Well, that was kind of interesting. So, next quest. Recover your amulet from the casket of Adler Keldam. His ca casket is in a crypt <sighs> located in Eversleep Cemetery in the North Parish area. If you can't open the crypt door yourself, the cemetery director has a key. And this house is north of here, apparently. All right. I think this is a good place to save. Yeah. All right, folks. This was an awfully long video, but... We have two different adventures going, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Well, thanks for tuning in, and be sure to click subscribe so that way you know when we do part two of this amazing, interesting adventure of Escalon.